Now uh, we'll go to talk uh, by uh, Dr. Munir Nazal, uh, a case I wish I didn't start. Th thank you again, and uh, I hope we can finish it in time. So this is a patient who is about 63 years of age, and um, he has a history of thoracic aortic dissection and repair. He presented with abdominal pain, back pain, a CAT scan was done and found that we have a larger aneurysm in the abdomen now. Patient is high risk for any open surgery. And he is not good the candidate for fenestration also because of the nature of the uh, aneurysm. Um, uh, the uh, neck of the aneurysm was very large. It was about 38 uh, millimeters, so he is not a candidate for regular endovascular repair. This is the 3D reconstruction of the aneurysm, as you can see here. And uh, because of his previous uh, repair, uh, he had an SMA stent and a combined origin for the superior mesenteric artery and the celiac artery. And the stent was just uh, floating in the aorta. So difficult to even think of administration in that area. The only way really after we looked at it is to do a aneurysm repair with regular endovascular, but we have to extend a thoracic part, which is larger, about 44 millimeter. The only problem that it is 10 centimeter long, so it cannot fit within the bifurcated graft without covering the renal artery, which we were not planning to. So that is the thoracic aneurysm, and it is 44 by 10. What we did, we had to cut part of it the only way and make it 44 by 65 millimeter, which we did. We went in and put the graft out. And no need to go through the film, and managed to cut 6.5 millimeter, the usual way of cutting those grafts then finalize the end of it and we did started the repair by doing the endovascular aneurysm then we introduced the thoracic part and this is the thoracic part you see it here and then all of a sudden the thoracic part jumped and covered the renal arteries both of them we tried every way to go into the renal arteries. We managed finally uh, by using the aptus to go into the left renal artery, as you can see here. But the right renal artery was fully covered. We could not do much for it. We did left renal stenting. The discussion, should we leave the right kidney covered or we should try to open it? And um, it was a long struggle. This is the aptus tour guide which you can manipulate the end. I'm sure many of you saw it, but for those who did not see it, this is the way we manipulate the end from straight to any angle you like. We try to pull the graft down, but it is a straight graft. You cannot use the wire from both ends because the thoracic part is not bifurcated, it's a straight. And this is what we did at the end. We used the aptus to go around the metal part as you can see it we pulled it down we snared the wire as you can see here and we pulled the stint down on that side then after that we went to the um, from the arm and managed to get into the right renal and finalize the procedure the patient was discharged home. He had no creatinine change and he was followed in the office. Um, this is a case that really sometimes when you are overconfident, you are bit in the head and knowing no, you are not that confident. You should not be that confident. Thank you very much.